OK, so this time we have an example where we're rotating about the y-axis. We have the curve y is equal to log of 8x, and that's being rotated about the y-axis from y is 1 to y is 2. So visually, what's happening is that we have the curve y is equal to uh, log of 8x, looks something like that, and we're rotating it between y is 1 and y is 2 about the y-axis, okay? So we're going to have um, this curve that looks something like this, something like that. Um, so we have this uh, 3D shape looks something like that. We're going to find that exact volume. Now, for integrals that rotate about the y-axis, we're going to be using the integral of pi x squared dy. Now, that does mean that you need to make sure you get x squared equals. So we need to go from y is equal to log of 8x to x squared equals. So we're going to have to e both sides, so get e to the y is equal to e to the log 8x, which is just 8x. Then we're going to have to divide both sides by 8. And so x squared will be 1 over 64 e to the 2y, okay, by squaring both sides. So we're looking at the integral of pi of 1 over 64 e to the 2y um, dy integrated between 1 and 2. Okay, so that's the pi x squared dy. Now the pi and the 1 over 64 can both come outside and I'm going to be left with e to the 2y dy inside. So that's quite a nice integral to work out pi over 64, the integral of e to the 2y is a half e to the 2y, evaluated between 1 and 2. So we've got pi over 64, let's leave that outside of a bracket. Substitute in 2, we're going to have half e to the 4, and then substitute in 1, we're going to have 1 half e to the 2. Okay, and to write this in as simple form as possible, I'm going to take uh, factor out the half, and so we can have pi over 128 e to the 4, take away e to the 2. I mean, you could, I guess, factor out e to the 2 as well. Uh, pi e to the 2 over 128 e to the 2 minus 1, okay? But effectively, you know, we got to our answer there. Um, and it really depends upon the question as to whether they want you to write it in a particular format. So it is good practice to try and make sure you can simplify things and write them in as simple form as possible. But in the grand scheme of things, if it was just asking you to find the exact value, then that would likely be uh, perfect. Um, it's the correct answer, but you know, it, it, it's not in its as simple form as possible, but that's fine. Uh, but if they wanted you to write it with something e to the 2 minus 1, then that's how you'd factor it out.